Welcome to Highfield Think Tank TV, Kasuma Farouk of Uganda. Our mission is beyond this planet. We want to leave the world as a better place. Our mission is about changing the world politically, socially, and economically. Africa and Uganda, basically in this case, we are realizing that we have few industries. Now, the challenge in our program for a moment today is that how can Uganda raise industrialization in a struggling economy like Uganda? Because people are starting up industries, but the industries are collapsing. I'm here with one of uh, the lead people who are following issues of economics. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Abdul Razak Matata. Abdul Razak. Mm -hmm. How can the government solve the equation? Because we are realizing that industrialization is at a very low level. And so um, it's very easy for the government to solve this problem. Yes. First of all, when you look at the government of Uganda, one of the things it will do is imposing high import duties on, on expansion of products that are imported into the country. This will, number one, this will eliminate competition with foreign industries. And this will furthermore influence the growing of home industries. And that's not the only thing. Uh, the government can also put favorable government policies. Yes. Let me tell you, the problem that Uganda has is imposing high taxes on mostly its people and the foreigners without taxation. So okay. what should the government do? The government should lower the taxes. The government should offer tax holidays. But yeah. let me challenge you, my friend. Exactly. If the government, let's say, is going to lower taxes, we are, we are like, the government needs to build roads. Exactly. How can the government raise money to build roads and schools? And you are saying that the government should decrease on taxes. Yes, I, I, I don't necessarily mean that the government should reduce on taxes. Yes. But what I mean is that the government should make the policies favorable. Now, I'll give you a chance. You can't, like, on the home industries, you can't impose exercise duties. You can't impose all other relevant taxes on, the, on our products. Yes, we shall pay the tax. Okay, let's pay the profit tax. Yes. But before I even start production, I see that I'm already, I already have tax that I'm subject okay. to. I won't start the industries, and that will, you know, that will furthermore influence the foreign industries than the domestic industries. So okay. this is a challenge to Uganda as a country. They should create favorable government policies. When it comes to company registration, let the process be easy. Now, when you look at Uganda, the process of company registration is very difficult. You mean some people want like to register companies? But the process, there's a lot of bureaucracy. There's a lot of bureaucracy. You have to get uh, several forms. Uh, you have to get several lawyers. You have to go reserve the name. You have to do this and this, get company resolution. Yes, yes. All those, you have a lot of illiterate people that have the brains of making money, but aren't willing to go through all that bureaucracy in order to do business. Okay. So what should the government do? Favorable government policies. They should impose high import duties on products that are coming into the country and let them do something about the infrastructure. Nobody's going to do business when transport is hard for me. I'm going to incur a lot of costs and that is a favorite business. So uh, government has the government, to work on the, You mean the government should emphasize people, uh, things like protectionism? Because protectionism, this is a situation where the government protects domestic industries exactly. from outside the competition. Exactly, that's my point. Okay, there I'm, I'm getting you. What other strategy can you raise? In? Another strategy I can raise when it comes to the, to the when it comes to industrialization, mm. the education system. Okay. I know a, a lot of you might say I'm kind of wrong about this debate, but the education system. No, what's, what, what's our education system doing? Our mm -hmm. education system is nurturing job seekers. Our education system isn't nurturing job creators. Let them teach students how to make business. Let them teach students how how to make money, not how to work for money. Okay. You know, there are very two different things in this industry. Yes. Be like Americans. Learn how to make money, make money. But if what is the what is the system telling us? The system is telling students go to school, get a job, and get and, and do life. That's not how it works. Okay. And that's why we're still behind. It's a very burning topic. What is your lead formula in this? My lead formula is we should nature job creators. My nature formula is that we should create a masters of money, not slaves of money. That's the only way to this thing. Thank you very much. We thank you viewers. We shall go ahead and focus more issues about the economy. Because we value three things. Production, productivity, and price. Thank you, and I wish you well.